said we're funding everything in the fiscal year 19 budget, and now we're just saying we're not going to pay for it. Tempers flaring after Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher announced over the weekend the suspension of all capital projects in the city. I find it a little pathetic to, to all of a sudden announce to the world via the press that, that we're shutting down everyone's projects. The move comes after Metro Council last week voted to table an $83 million bond ordinance already twice approved. Let's reopen the budget and decide what projects people want to pull back. That's the responsible way to do it, not to table a bond ordinance without any notice to anyone and without any discussion. According to the mayor, that vote forced work to stop on several multi-million dollar plans, including the Louisville Urban League Sports and Learning Complex and the Northeast Regional Library. We will reach a point where it will mean that the opening would be delayed. I, I don't know that we're there yet if this is resolved quickly. Just, we can't go on indefinitely because people really do begin to lose confidence. More than $19 million of bond money has already been spent on the projects, with another $19 million set aside for future costs. But as budget issues loom over the city, then we by all means should be looking at everything. Some Metro Council members say their decision last week was in an effort to slow spending, keeping the city's current debt in mind. I just don't think we can come up with a budget. But if we're gonna, if, if that's the road we're gonna go down, then we need to look back to. Now, the council did not vote on the bond ordinance tonight. In fact, that vote is expected a week from Thursday. Reporting live downtown, I'm Trey Ward, WLKY News.